There he is. There's the boy. <laughs> so this is Waffles. Today, earlier today, he did a 5K marathon. And now we're gonna do an instructional video to teach you how to make rad photos on a rad staircase with an exhausted friend. <laughs> Are you feeling okay after the run? I'm feeling great. That's amazing. It's like 80 degrees out here. Go ahead, climb up to the, the first uh, little landing. Yeah, right about here. Hold on to the railing and just peer down at me. Today, I'm shooting with a big fancy camera. It's an EOS R with a 24 to 70 lens. You can do this with a point and shoot. It's such a cool location and subject that the gear doesn't matter. So let's go. Looking up at spirals, these are always really strong big elements. Big fan of butter. Yeah, spirals are always good in art. So this is this is really cheating. We're like shooting fish in a barrel. We should be able to get some rad photos. See how I, I shoot this one and I'm cutting off lines. If you cut off the lines at the edges of the photo, the eye moves off the frame. So it's better if you zoom out a little bit and try not to let those lines end off of your frame. Tilt your head to your right again. Yeah, that's sick. That's perfect. In this case, with the headshot, we're gonna cut off some of those lines, but that's okay, we can ignore it. So you gotta kinda know the rules before you break them. That's the idea. We'll do the same thing at the top. Right there is perfect. So I'm backing way off. I'm gonna get kind of a wider shot. I could do a vertical, I could do a horizontal. Oh, let's do a candid shot, let's do this. Can you walk to this edge and face out toward the parking lot here? I'm gonna trip over the bollards there. Look out a little bit more to your left. Yeah, chin down again. There you go. The best trick in fursuit photography is what? Uh, just telling them what you want. Telling them what you want. So you, you, like, the, uh, you like the feedback. It seems to work the best. The direction. We're gonna keep you there. I'm gonna come up and pass you and shoot down on the scene. I wanna move you as little as possible to keep you Feeling good since you did a 5K marathon. Oh, I like this. See right here, just walking up. I wasn't expecting this, but see how the, the little notch frames your head like this? This is so rad. I'm just glad you didn't clonk your head on that metal thing. I was worried. I'm, I'm expecting to clonk my head at least three or four times before we're done here today. <laughs> but let's, let's keep moving up. How about you face me and put your hands on the railing right here? I was shooting it like this. I'm actually gonna pull out a little bit and that lets it so that the the um, the edges of the railing are included in the frame so people's eyes don't go off the frame. You see the difference there. And uh, let me do a headshot. Well, can you do the same pose but tilt your head? Yeah, that's cute. Excellent, excellent. Are you cool with sitting down right there and looking up at me? Yeah, I'm really liking this, this scene because there's like very few distractions. I'm not seeing a lot of trash and stuff. And I actually end up with like a really cool foreground of the railing. What I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna shoot this so you can see it, but now I'm gonna maneuver your head. So tilt the head. Yeah, that's really cute. The head tilt's almost always a good idea. Yeah, head tilts are strong. Finding those head angles that work with your first suit, ah, uh, it's a joy. Yes, the head, the first suit heads look at, they look different from every angle. It's almost like different expressions. And another reason that head tilting is so important here, Photos look more interesting when they're lit from the side. You go to a portrait studio, they put a big light coming from the side. Well, when you're shooting outdoors, you're lit from above. That's how we experience everyday life, and it's boring. It's because it's normal for us every day. So if you tilt the head relative to your head, now the light is coming from the side. So the light looks way cooler if you tilt heads. And that's something I learned with wedding photography, actually. You can have a bright sunny day and you can still make some cool side lighting on a person if you can get them to tilt their head or, or lay down on their side on the ground or something like that. I want to be a bride for life. You are, you're the best bride I've ever seen. So I'm looking down, I'm seeing this beautiful spiral. So I'm gonna try to incorporate that. So here's my first photo. My jeans and my, my shoes are in the photo, but if I just step back a little bit, I can get the distracting elements out. And uh, can you point your nose more at the camera? That's good. So I really like looking straight down on this staircase. Um, step down, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see the way you're, you're peeking is really cute. You're just peeking out from, oh, and you get this rad like Fibonacci spiral. This is like quintessential art school photos. Can you put your hands on these railings up? Like you're trying to break out of jail. <laughs> He's looking up. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cute. And so I could shoot it like this, but that puts uh, these railings in the shot. Remember, we don't want lines ending off the frame, so I'm actually gonna pull back a little so the eye stays within the frame. And I'm gonna move my shoe. My shoe is still in the shot. That's a rad photo. You're gonna love this, dude. The sign of every bad photography is the feet in the bottom of the photo. Yeah. 
Yeah, I agree. So if you're shooting down, you get get your shoes in the photo like that. <laughs> That's a little bit distracting. <laughs> you want to change out into a shirt? Oh yeah. We'll try a few more. All right, let's do that. Just climbing down a staircase with my raccoon friend. No big deal. He's blue. <laughs> we have an added challenge now. So we, we're going to take some promo shots for my friend Kipper Snacks. He has a website called weaselgear.com where he makes rad shirts. He draws the shirts and his partner Drex uh, distributes them and runs the website. Uh, so we're going to get some similar photos, but showcasing this rad shirt. Man, this is tough because it, it, it's like the, the railing blocks the shirt. But if I come over here, can you step up one more stair? Yeah. You gotta pull your shirt down a little bit so it unwrinkles. This is always, this adds another level of complication. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Can you rotate your body? Like actually stand with your body facing the camera? <laughs> this is actually pretty rad. Kipper's gonna love this. And if you're watching this video, you should, you should go get some merch because he has amazing shirts and he's a nice dude. Can you with your right hand point toward the camera again? It's such a strong thing with your suit. And thank you for the head tilt, great idea. Yeah, let's do that, actually. That looks really good. Let's tilt the head uh, left. Yeah, very good. Let me, let me unwrinkle your shirt again. With product photos, it's, it's another challenge because you have to make sure the product is represented well. So you know, get the wrinkles out. Sometimes I even Photoshop the dust off of the shirt or like dust or like little strands of fursuit hair. I'm gonna go way back for this one. Try not to get run over. Let's tilt, let's tilt the other way, let's try that. And then, yeah, I like the hand on the hip too, very good. Great, great, I think we got that. We haven't, we haven't used this as a backdrop yet. Let's do this, let's have you on this, this section where I'm standing right now. Oh, I love how this frames you too. The frame is always nice. Yeah. Honestly, you have the hard part of the job. You're standing in 80 degree weather. Um, come, come up a couple stairs. Can't see much of the shirt, but actually look pretty cool. Excellent, maybe up one more stair. Let's try that. <laughs> yeah, we can't see much of the shirt. Maybe this will go in the other album. It's, it's tough because I'm like leaning over a ledge. All right, let's get a, um, let's get a shot with you sitting on the top stair. Yeah, right here. Yeah, facing away from me. Sweet, dude. Yeah, that's sick. Can you put your left hand under your chin? Like, a, like a, yeah, like fist under, fist under. Yeah, that's great. Can you take a big scoot to your right? If you're able to. That's good, that's good. Thank you. How about we go scope out the pallets next to the dumpster? What do you think? Okay. To the dumpster for the raccoon. I mean, it's too perfect. <laughs> I will scope it out and make sure it's good before we get you anywhere near it, okay? Unwrinkle. There you go, good. See, okay, here's a problem. Here's a big challenge. If I shoot it like this, my shadow's in the shot. So what are we gonna do? We gotta put the sun somewhere other than at our back. So I'm gonna move to the side and zoom in a little bit. And I want you to look like you're way up there, so I'm gonna take a knee. Head tilt the other way. Dude, you're still good at this? Let's do a pose where your arms are up like you're trying to lead, just like your shirt says. Look to the sky. <laughs> Let me adjust your shirt. Uh, I mean, yeah, go ahead and look up. Yeah. It's gonna be a little bit wrinkly, but that's okay. It's a shirt. <laughs> You're just trying to leave, man. Maybe we shoot one from here. Yeah, oh, this is great. You got the side light. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're getting close to sunset. The light's on the side. So it's lighting completely from the side. This is like a, studi a studio lighting situation. It's a side light. You can't beat it. Sunset, golden hour. All those buzzwords, you know? And we were waving to bystanders who were like, what the heck's going on? So we could shoot it this way, and put you in the left third, or we could shoot it this way and put you in the right third. And if we do that, you get the palm trees. So just explore, disclude distracting elements and include parts that tell the story. I think we got some good shots. What do you, you what do you think? Anything else? I'm happy. You I mean, do you see anything else? You're an amazing artist. Uh, oh dude, this is sick. Okay, yeah, this is a total raccoon hangout. <laughs> this is good. Let me shoot it from a little further back. And this actually gets me some interesting stuff in the foreground too, so I can choose later which one I like. Uh, I really think that this is gonna help people get the creative juices flowing and make some- value to the world. I hope so, you do too though. Your art is amazing. So I'm gonna link to your art, the shirts, and uh, also the music 
uh, from this bit is from a, one of our dear friends, Skuro. He made an amazing album under the name I've Made Too Much Pasta, so we're gonna link to that. And if you learned something from this video, no pressure, but you get more cool stuff if you subscribe to my Patreon, which I'm also gonna link. So thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Punch in. <laughs> yeah. We miss you, space cat. Won't you please come back home? We miss you, space cat. Won't you please come back home? And if you think we'll be mad, well,